My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with the Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days to Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 66 of the 120 Days to Jam Mathematics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at a question on that circle theory. If you have something like this, this is a circle. And what we know so far is that the sum of angles in a circle is 360 degrees. Now, here is the center of the circle. If you draw a line from the center to any part of the circle, that line is referred to as radius. Now, if you have a line straight cutting the center like this, from here to here is one radius, from here to here is another radius. This is equal to two radius, and two radius is equal to diameter. So, from here to here is diameter. A situation where you cut a circle like this, but the cut doesn't get to the center, either like this, or like this, or whatever, so long it does not cut the circle into two equal halves, it is referred to as chord. Chord. If you cut the circle into equal half, one side is referred to as semicircle, the other side is referred to as semicircle. The area of a circle is pi arrow squared. Now look at this. We have a circle and various triangles inside the circle. Now let's see the question. In the diagram above, if angle arrow PS is 50 degrees, this is arrow PS, this shape is arrow PS. The letter at the middle is where the angle is always at. So the angle will be at P. Not everything here, but this particular angle, like this, is arrow PS. They are trying to explain the diagram. Arrow PQ is 30 degrees. So, arrow PQ, okay, this is arrow PQ. Here is 30 degrees. And PQ is equals Q arrow. Where is PQ? This is PQ. This is Q arrow. So, this side, okay, it's already indicated like this. This side and this side are equal. This makes a lot of sense to me. Because if here like this is a triangle and we are told that the two sides are equal, it means the two angles are also equal. So base angles are also equal. Here is 30 degrees. This second base angle will also be 30 degrees. Once you sum everything up, it will give you 180 degrees. Anytime the angle in a triangle is more than 180 degrees, then your answer is wrong. That is why angle here must be 30, not 120 degrees. It will exceed 180 degrees. Find angle PROS. Angle PROS is simply the angle between P and S. Where is P? P ROS. So this angle between P and S is P R O S. This is what you are looking for. Let's call it A. Let's call that A. Looking P R O S. P R O S A. Ladies and gentlemen, this question seems too cheap for me to be shouting up and down since. Yes actually too cheap. If this diagram is actually correct, and this question is actually correct, and we are looking at angle P, look at it, P, ROS, which is this angle, it is simply 
180 minus 50 plus 60. Because if you add this and this and subtract from 180, you get here. 50 plus 60 is 110 degrees. 180 minus 110 degrees, this is 70 degrees. So the angle is 70 degrees. And the question is too cheap for the running about we've been doing since. Too cheap, too loose. But my own is not just for you to answer the question, no. If it were that way, I would just be answering questions for you straight. I won't even reason. And for most of these questions, I already know what to do directly. But I am teaching you because some questions may come, you've not seen them before, you don't know what to do. The way I try to reason, I try to analyze, I try to think, it will help you in the exam hall. Once you imagine me, if it were a uh, flash Isaac, how would you reason this question? She would just look at it and say, okay, you start from the first sentence, if this is this. So with that, once you start, you should be able to finish. So that is it for this episode. Ladies and gentlemen, if you find this helpful, subscribe to this channel and tell everyone about the Flash Nana's YouTube channel. See you in the next episode.